Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are back in Springfield, Ohio at the Springfield Antique Center. <laughs> it's this building here behind me. We're going to get inside, see what we can't find. Now look, this place has got some really nice stuff. You know what that means. Spendy, spendy. We're going to see if we still can't find some deals we have in the past. Let's hope we can do it again. Here we go, guys. We're going to go inside. They're open till 6. Please use the other door. Look at me knowing how to read. Stop. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Let's check it out. We're going to hit up the cases here at first. I've actually not filmed the cases in the past. That is a deal. $20 for Miss Plum Pudding. Mm hmm This Creeper. Blair Witch Child. Ooh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. One of my favorite Universal Monsters. He's 100, though. Spender. Creepy Puppet. Can be yours. Um, all right, let's see what else we can find. These are really empty, so that's going to be a no. Okay, so this area is actually all new to me. There were a couple of cases, but not to this extent. No hunting or fishing. I mean, kind of, I don't think we were... Uh, I don't see anything there either. Some more empties. What's up here? Okay, I'm making a circle because that's where we started. Okay, so they've got a couple of rows here of cases. I'm going to skip past that. I typically do this scene last, so we're going to go and do this first. I like mixing it up here. Um, so it does seem that they are under new ownership, hence all of the new cases. So they're really putting in a lot of effort to get in some more vendors. As I've said in the past, you know, the cases are great maybe for somebody that has a small collection or is just kind of dabbling or it's more of like a, um, a hobby. So they don't really have enough items to fill out, you know, an entire booth like this. So don't pass by those cases. Always check them out. Um, a lot of marbles. Looks reproduction. Hmm. You know what? I have to say, it is so nice to not have any music. I can give you guys like full overviews without having to talk over everything. Some phones. Mm, not seeing a whole lot of anything from me, for us, really. So I will check back with you here in a second. Okay, so I did spot this. Looks like we have a purple or amethyst colored cased glass. This one's at 45. Um, this is a berry bowl or fruit bowl. This is actually what these were advertised and sold in. I know I have conflated a lot of times these with wedding ba oh my goodness, with wedding baskets. Um, but no, in fact, originally marketed and sold as fruit and berry bowls. 45, not bad. It's an unusual color. I'm going to hold off on that one though, but I think a really good deal. So here we have a vendor, obviously, that has a lot of books. Um, I've seen this one before, and you do buy it with the brass bookends here. The Wonders of the Universe this is the second copyright of 1889. I actually have a couple from this publisher. They're absolutely amazing. The illustrations are on point. It is 125, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, if I did get it, it would definitely be something for me personally. Something else I did see was this Mother's Magazine. Now, I'm assuming this was a kind of a subscriber premium. So at the end of the year, anybody who was a subscriber to Mother's Magazine in the year 1850 to 51 would have received a bound edition of the weekly periodical. It's $10. Hmm. So, 
sing songs, evening, home, ooh, little clipping, hmm, nothing's really, I'm not seeing a lot of illustrations, I don't know, I feel there's a good bit of foxing to it too, foxing's that browning, um, We have short stories in here. Panhandle soap. A little advertising card. Yeah, 1850. It's pre-Civil War, which is pretty gosh darn cool. It's hard to get anything pre-Civil War anymore. $10. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this because I think it's going to be an interesting read. Now here we do have a collection of three magazines for $20. It looks like we have a December 26, 1936 of Collier's Magazine. This was actually produced in Springfield, Ohio. We also have a McCall's from 1938, September, and a McCall's from 1937. Now at $20, I'm definitely going to pick these up. They have amazing articles and advertisements in here. The magazines look to be in really good condition, so uh, I think this is quite a good score. So we're gonna get all three for $20. Now this is a special treat to see here, you guys. We have some wax-headed uh, angels. They're tree toppers. The one here in the back with the hair, she's at $52. That is absolutely beautiful. She is stunning. Oh my goodness. We also have a larger one here at 52. I'm really, really, really interested in this one here. It's uber tempting. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. Look at the honeycomb, 75 for the whole collection. We've got this little creepy jester doll here. Oh, he's adorable. I can't see the price though. Hmm. Her. Hello. I don't know. Some bisque babies. She's interesting. Um, I think we're gonna have to get get in here and get this this angel. I'm really curious about this doll right here. Down here, I did spot this little monkey, and rah! you know, oh, he's straw filled. He's an older one. He's adorable. Quanta costa. What is this? 45. He is jointed. Oh my god, I love him. I'm not gonna get him because I have enough, like, misfit toys. But I love the fact that he only has one eye. We're gonna set him up. We're gonna try to, oh, well, maybe not. We're gonna lay him back down. How about that? <laughs> While we are waiting, I did spot the Viking. This is the cabbage leaf and the amber. Cute. Did a number of different colors for that. But he did spot these little hobbyists. Oh, shoot. Uh, he's got a chip in his leg. I don't know. I think they're cute. They're weird. I don't know what's going on with that one. Why it has a hole. Do you think it was maybe for macrame? Maybe? I don't know. The other three look like they're a set. No, I'm not going to do it. These ones are just okay. Darn it. There she is out. She looks amazing. Clown doll was $49, so we're going to leave him, but we're going to get her for sure. Okay, guys, so I did see a stack of postcards over here, and I went through them all because there were some ones that really caught my eye. The ones that initially caught my eye was this one. It says, Thou shalt not make thyself any graven image. Y'all, it is the Ten Commandment postcards all 10 are here there's five six seven eight nine ten now it's 39 dollars so we're talking four dollars per postcard but i think having all 10 of these that's absolutely amazing i am going to take a risk and get these i've never seen them and i think it's amazing subject matter 
I did find this collection. It is seven. I love the artistry on this. They're beautiful. Now, I don't know if this one goes with it. It's, yeah. These seem to be all games, and this is a joyful Easter, so I'm assuming, yeah. So these are all games. This one does not include, though it is the same artist, it looks like. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are three dollars each. It's eighteen for the collection. I'm gonna leave her just because it doesn't go in. So yeah, we're gonna do that also. Check out this collection of head vases. This is there's quite a few. This one's oh she's broken. Her lash. That's really unusual. That's twenty. This one's cute. Um don't know what's this one. Ooh. A little dirty. We're gonna that's cute, the baby. Ooh, who's that behind her? Ooh, what is this one? Look at that collar, the spaghetti. Ooh, she's 30. She's bougie, she's unmarked. She's got a good craze under her, but I have never definitely been used. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get her. We're getting her. I've never seen that one. Okay, well, prices aren't that bad. Who's she? Is this Jackie? It looks it, doesn't it, though? Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> you stay there, girl. Calm yourself down. Who are you in your Sunday hat? Uh, I don't near. No, I'm not really seeing anybody else that... She's snooty. Don't really see... Oh, she's missing her whole eyebrow. Hmm. Cute little egg cup. Hey, guys. That's so creepy. Oh, it's $20. Well, oh. near... Um, well, I think we got the best one. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I think we definitely did get the best one. Okay, Let's see what else we can find, guys. Look at this beauty right here. Now, we do have uh, some hand painting here. I really went in. Uh, to see if there was any dots on it. I'm only seeing brush strokes now There is some damage to it to the flowers here It's so difficult to see because of this Art Nouveau style with all of the applied florals on it um, This is beautiful. It's a very specific look. I'm hiding the best part. Don't peek now Now it does have some painting here on the back Again, very Art Nouveau in style. Unmarked. It is porcelain, that's for sure. The vendor, in their great kindness, saw some of that damage and said, you know, I don't know if it's worth anything. Ten dollars? We're rescuing it? Um, I see the value in that. I think it's beautiful. It's ten dollars. We can't. We can't just leave this sit here. Let's take it home. You guys, check out this old antique Valentine's Day. It is to my love or Valentine. Um, he's got a little kickstand back here, so you can prop him up. But he also is a little articulated. Look at his eyes moving. That's not creepy at all. And look, he's gonna get you his valentine's it is made in the usa he's six dollars i can't help it i am a sucker it looks like it's a very dolly dingle kind of character i don't think it is but gosh darn if i don't love him we're gonna get him
Uh, we are in ephemera heaven. Look at it all. Take it all in. I am loving it. Everything is individually bagged and boarded, which makes it a little easier to go through. I will say that versus when everything is loose because you have a heart. You don't want to damage anything. Now, the thing that I found was this composition book, which is priced at only six dollars, might I add. I love finding these composition books. This one's a little unusual. It seems that it was used as a diary from 1910 to 1911 and it is filled with entries okay oh columbus there's a winter vacation there are oh abraham lincoln george washington so there is some mathematics here but it looked like they were assigned the beautiful legend I mean, this is just so good. It's a time capsule Thanksgiving day. But there's also like a journal entry. So I wonder if they weren't charged with kind of writing about the holidays. Oh my gosh, we're totally getting this. It's amazing. There is another one. This is an extra book, exercise book of St. Mary's parochial school. Looks like it was Edna's. This one's only $5 and it is full again of the entries just like the other one, it's like Holiday Days, Elizabeth, I don't know. Um, I just love these Easter vacation. A drive in the country, it says, I don't know, prayers, Washington's birthday. Oh my God, self. My full name is Edna. Oh my gosh, yes, we're getting it. Oh, so exciting. Look at all of this amazing ephemera and the prices are amazing. We've got a Cosmo from 1953, July. Miss Marlene Dietrich is on the cover. The Bride's Book, this is amazing. Oh, Child's Life, $6. Under the Window, full color illustrations for $9, you guys. And we've got this Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales. I have it open here to the Little Mermaid. Now listen, this book is in rough condition, but that cover, the full color illustrations, it's $8. I don't want to leave it behind. We're getting all of this today, you guys. Alrighty, guys, here we have some Benton Cranberry and a Swirl Optic. I love this piece. And it's only $19, so is it the most dynamic? No. But there's something about this pattern that I absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this little one up. So here is that situation I was talking about earlier. I have a case and down here we have a 1900-1901 Montgomery Ward catalog. I can't see the price, but judging from the other prices, it doesn't seem like they're really bad. So I am going to try to get a key and find out the price in here. We'll see what's going on with it. Wish me luck. So that's how much it is. So that's gonna be a no for us. Um, aggressive. <laughs> well guys, I have officially run out of time. I haven't even gotten to make it halfway through the antique mall. I just have dinner plans tonight and I didn't time this wisely. So I gotta get on the road, get home, get a little cleaned up here because we're looking a little rough. Yet I'm on camera. Um, I'm still looking around, making sure we can't find any last minute something somethings. Oh, I hate to go. I did really enjoy finding all of the ephemera today, the books. That was super exciting. That amazing Art Nouveau vase that we're rescuing for just $10. Um, ugh, I hate to cut it short. We're definitely going to have to come back, get up into those cases, see everything that we have been missing. Let me know, you guys, down in the comments, your favorite find of the day, or of course, the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and I would appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.